Okay, so I'm going to get set up with uh, Repetti Host, and uh, Repetti Host is an all-in-one uh, software solution for 3D printing. You can uh, open up your STLs and uh, position them in the print bed. You can you can scale them. You can uh, put them where you want them to be, and then from the same interface, you can slice it with either Slicer or Skeenforge and uh, configure them. Uh, when it's done you can view the G-code and later we'll see it'll uh, do a 3D rendering of what the actual print will look like and then it'll also manually control the printer. Uh, so it's uh, just about everything um, that you would want to do in one place. Um, the first thing we need to do is update the firmware because this does require that uh, homing uh, be working and the current solid little firmware um, there's a the bug in, in the homing if you push a home button and it automatically sends the extruder to one of the end stops um, there's some issues there. Uh, the uh, shipping firmware is uh, based on an early um, beta of the Marlin firmware uh, but another user has um, taken the current Marlin, which is a version 1, and uh, configured it for the solid doodle. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to that link, uh, which I'll post um, to the Marlin firmware on GitHub. And uh, on this download page, there's the zip, and I'll download the zip. And uh, zip it into the folder of your choice or save it in the folder of your choice and extract it. We need to get another um, couple of files that he has links to in the readme. In order to update the firmware, we'll need the Arduino. You need Arduino version uh, 022, 0022. Do not download version one. This will not work. We need to go to the previous versions and look for 0022 and download whichever operating system you need. In this case, I'm using uh, Windows. And then, in addition to that, uh, we'll download um, this folder here. This has a file that tells Arduino how to talk to the um, Sanguinolulu uh, motherboard that's on the printer. So I'll do the same thing here. I'll get the zip and I'll save as. I'm going to get these unzipped. Okay, so Arduino is done, and a uh, good thing to do would be to just um, copy a link to that to um, the desktop. It makes it a lot easier to get to. And then the other thing we need is this Sanguino folder. And we'll copy this into hardware. Now we can uh, open up Arduino. Do not update it. Go file, open, and we'll find the Marlin, which is. I already had it previously open, but. So go to MLAW Solidoodle 2 Marlin and look for Marlin PDE. At this point, uh, you want to be um, plugged into the Solidoodle. You'll go to this button here, which is Upload, and uh, get ready to push the reset button on the board on the back of the Solidoodle. Hit Upload, and then down here at the bottom, a little message says binary sketch size, etc. will show up. As soon as binary sketch size shows up, hit the reset button. And after a few minutes, it'll say upload complete. And then your firmware will be uploaded to um, uh, the most current version that we have. 